Listen, right, you cannot make this shit up. You cannot make it up. The two policemen, the things I've heard this morning, the two policemen who was involved, the two commissioner and the deputy commissioner, Stevenson and Yates, they had to resign because of their involvement in the hacking scandal because it is found out they was in the pockets of News International and have been covering up the hacking of dead children's parents' phones, amongst others, criminal fucking activity, who swore an oath, wore the badge of the police, got paid off, half a million pounds in a bonus to fucking up before they leave. They got their pension for life and they gave them a fucking bonus. And they was able to resign with no criminal fucking prosecutions. What? What? Half a million pound. A little kid who stole a bottle of water, never had a fucking criminal record in his entire life, stole a bottle of water in the riots, got six months, and these fucking pigs get half a million pounds and fucking pension for life. What this is for, this society, that's, that's what this society's about. David Camerface, Theresa May and Boris fucking Johnson have signed that fucking, that shit off. And these gits are walking away with half a million pounds. They're fucking criminals. They should be locked up. But no, we reward them because they're at the top. Because the lawmakers and the law enforcers are above the fucking law. But the poor and the vulnerable, we will smash you to fucking pieces. Same in business, same in the tax world. Listen to these figures. £70 billion. £70 billion. Fat cats, tax avoidance. £70 billion. £1.6 billion. Fucking... Benefit scrounders and benefit cheats, but 16 billion goes unclaimed. Who's fault? Who's in fucking? Who's doing it? It's the fucking poor. It's the poor little girl who's got three kids and a fucking cleaning job who's earning a bit of extra money off the benefit who's fucking getting smashed, who's going to prison and leaving her little kiddies in care. This fucking country's sick, and at the core of it is the rich, the elite, and the fucking police. Listen to this shit, right? Yates, one of the cousins, one of the fucking who was sitting there for 10 years, four cover-ups, who said there's nothing going on, who all the time knew about fucking Glenn Mulcair's notes, has got, his, got a job in fucking Bahrain. Fucking Bahrain, where they're torturing the fucking poor innocent protesters who are trying to fucking have a voice. They're burying them. They're killing them. It's gone out there. Probably with some of David Cameron's fucking weapons. Some of his tear gas and his electric buttons that leave really bad scars. But oh, the news this morning gets fucking worse. The Queen's fucking son, that Prince Edward, and his fucking wife, have been out to fucking Bahrain in the middle of the fucking riots and they've given her a bunch of fucking jewels. A bunch of fucking jewels, diamonds and fucking pearls and rubies. This, this country's sick. It's fucking sick. And we're supposed to sit here and fucking take that shit. What's going on? These police should be locked up. The royal family taking jewels. This country's gone fucking mental. And I'm sitting and I'm losing my fucking voice screaming in here every day of the week. 2012, nothing's fucking changed. They're all fucking at it.